This here is the user manual for the QAUYYW hand crank radio with LED flashlight. I don't know why they give it a model number like that. And I know I got this one from Amazon. I don't know where you'll get yours from, but this one was from Amazon. This radio is an emergency radio, flashlight, and power supply. We're going to take a quick tour or a user's guide. First off you have is the display. You have a battery indicator, which is what in, in yellow. If your battery is fully charged, you'll get four lights. The way to check this when the thing is, simp is on idle is to simply turn anything on. It'll make the lights of the battery come on and tell you of the battery's condition. The next you have the charging light, which comes on when it's plugged into the wall outlet, which is also provided when you buy one. You plug it into the small USB port. This is the tuner. It, that light will come on when the radio is on. The radio has FM, AM, and weather band. The weather band is able to pick up weather stations within the area that you are at so that you can listen for thunderstorms and stuff like that. In order to switch between the weather band, AM and FM, there's a switch on the bottom end of it. The left side is the volume control, the right side is the tuner. You won't be able to hear or see anything that this does because I didn't see a reason to do any of that. Because to me it's senseless to say, see, isn't that clear? Because when you get it out there and you're listening to music, you're probably not going to tell whether it's clear or not. And you probably won't even care. But that's that part of it. On the back side of it, you have uh, a big USB port. <clears throat> you plug a USB connect uh, cord onto here and you can plug it into your telephone or anything else that might be USB powered to either charge something or make something come on. This right here is also a battery booster pack. It's not just a flashlight. This here is the port that you plug into to charge this unit. Like I said, it comes with a wall plug and cord to be able to charge this. This button here is the button you push to turn on the flashlights on the front. If you push it once, this light here will come on. Now, the, the fascinating thing about this light is you think, okay, it's a simple flashlight. Believe it or not, no it isn't. If you take this light and you turn it on and you grab a, a jug of water and you take this thing and sit on top of that jug, you can have one heck of a light. This light, if it's fully charged, and I have tested it, if it's fully charged, this light will light up a room and it will light it up for over 12 hours. And I did say over 12 hours. So if you have a lighting issues in your area, you can take this radio, set it on top of it, put the light to where it shines into the jug and it'll light the entire jug up and you'll have light for over 12 hours on the regular charge. If you push that same button twice, what you will get is these two lights will come on. They are good for walking through an area because it gets the lights just that much brighter. If you push it three times, you get all three lights. And believe me, you don't want to be in front of this thing when you flip it to three because it is loud. And I will give you a fair warning on this when you push the button that causes the SOS signal which I'll explain to you in a couple of minutes these are the lights that will come on all three of them and they will flash LE, uh, SOS 
in Morse code. So if you take this thing and you set it off on a picnic table or something flat and point it upward, not only will it squeal a siren that is pretty loud, but it'll flash SOS to anything that might be looking. So if it's dark, everything around you is going to flash the SOS code. And yes, potentially, this can be seen from the air. That's why it is more or less an emergency radio. This button here, if you push it, will turn on the LED that's on the top of the unit. It has a uh, panel on the top that you lift up. When it's down, you see the solar panel. When it's up, you see the light. This is a light that you would set up if you want to set it up to be able to do something at a work desk or whatever. That's what that button is for. If you push this button real quick, it will turn on the battery lights. If you push it and hold on it, it'll set off the emergency signal and it's loud. All you've got to do is push it one more time and it shuts it right off. This unit is a DC powered. It has a battery inside of it. It can be plugged into the wall or if all else fails and it's been too long, you can crank this crank on it. If you crank it for one minute, it'll give you five minutes of whatever. If you crank on it for five minutes, it'll give you an hour and so on down the line. That's the emergency I need it now type power. The weather band, I told you about that a minute ago. It will give you the ability to pick up weather stations in the area should the skies look bad so you can find out if there are any weather warnings that you need to know about. This is the antenna that you can pull up and pull out to be able to receive AM and weather band signals. Works rather well. This is the solar panel that is on top of the unit. This solar panel is not, I repeat, is not a high-powered solar panel. If you have the thing setting out for a week, it'll charge the battery. It takes that long for this solar panel to do that. But if you didn't have that, you couldn't do it. So it's wind crank, AC, DC, and solar. That's why it's an emergency setup. That is the full, fullest extent of this radio and everything it can do and how to use it. That is, like I said, this is not a video on you need to buy this and this is how it works. This is what I call the user's manual because it does in fact go in depth on everything on it and just to reiterate if you have it on the standard light it can provide light for over 12 hours. If you suddenly find yourself in need of light because it didn't charge up good, pull open the crank on the back and crank it up a little bit more and it'll give you between one minute, one hour, potentially one day of service. This thing is really nice. This is the user's manual for the QA U Y Y W hand crank radio with LED flashlight. I got mine at Amazon. You get yours wherever you want to get it. I don't make money off of this. I just find it rather interesting.